know that mindless space and indestructible and timeless, then fill the impressions consciously into your mind, you know, that we all do that, which we would like to live with in the next life. That we see this as a stepping stone to the next life and that we consciously put those impressions into our mind that, that are really important. And a friend of mine, Kim Van Lommel, of course, because I've probably given taught between 90 and 100,000 people how to die consciously by making a five, six-day meditation with them where you get a hole in your head without anybody touching your head. You go, and you go out, you know, it's a quite dra a drama. Just that you know I'm not, I didn't drink or eat something I shouldn't eat. Those of you who have that hole, show your hands. It's a plague. It's a country plague. <laughs> so we are really, you know, we are, you know, probably 100,000 people in 12 to 13, uh, 12 to 13 teach, uh, what is called, uh, practices every, every year since 87 when my lama has told me to, to teach this. It's called powa, and it means the sending out of, of mind. I remember myself, I, sometimes people want to know why I'm so funny as I am. And they usually examine and they find a lot of titter waves, which are very unusual because they mean highest bliss. You're just blissed out the whole time, right? So they go, so they, then they ask for an MRI or whatever it's called brain, and they saw all these different signs on the top of my head, you know, like that. And they say, what is this? And I say, better not to explain, but that's when I teach people how to leave body, how to leave, and how to die consciously and go to a good rebirth. That's sort of my job. I do that. I do that 13 times, 12, 13 times every year. And in Central Asia and in Central Europe, there's usually a couple of thousand people, Russia the same, Germany the same, you know, Poland and so on, and Czech, always lots of people. And then North America, not so many, a few hundreds and so on, but good meditators and getting the results very quickly and so on. And this then means that people have this inner energy line through the body, and, and if, when the time comes to leave, then they will go out. And I mean, all these things that mind is not just some, some accidental energy, but something that is really there and has wisdom nature. There's something that has been much examined in, in Europe. For instance, Pim van Lommel, a Dutch, a Dutch professor, you know, who is really a master of thanology, knowledge of dying, and so on. Uh, he has... 430 different, you'd say, students or, or people, you know, who die and, and, and stuff like that. And again and again, he has found that when somebody was consciously dead, when there was nothing happening in the brain, nothing happening anywhere, then when he called them back, he got them back into life again, they were knowing what had happened in the room while they were dead. And they had always been seeing it from upstairs, and some had even known what happened in the neighboring room and stuff like that. So the fact that there is something which does not die, that there is a space awareness, a living energy that is in every being and so on, this is the basic teaching. Buddha tells us, you know, and I think it's logical. Energy, space, and awareness wasn't born, won't die, wasn't put together, won't fall apart, didn't come from somewhere, won't go somewhere else. 